Well, imagine getting a speeding ticket in the mail without ever getting pulled over by a cop. Some new technologies letting police use cameras and computers to catch thieves and speeders. Not everybody's happy about this. Local 6's Eric Sandoval is live for us in Kissimmee tonight. So, Eric, is the Kissimmee Police Department doing this already? Well, actually, they're testing this new product, Matt. Here's how it works. A camera is placed inside these emergency lights, and it takes video and pictures of all the cars around it. And what it finds could land you a speeding ticket without ever knowing it. I think that's the best thing that they could possibly do. There's too many crazy drivers here in Florida. Driver Ashley Martinez thinks these police cameras could actually take the crazy down a notch. This is an example of what they would get. First, it would scan every car's license plate to see if the car has been reported stolen. The next number you see is the speed of the car. If it's green, it's okay. Speeders turn the color red, and the computer sends them a speeding ticket. No pullover required. I feel like teenagers don't really know like the consequence of driving crazy and don't realize the, like, the car accidents and the things that they can cause from it. Similar devices are already being used in some central Florida cities. This one in Daytona Beach was rolled out in 2008, and it scans license plates to see if vehicles are stolen or driving with expired tags, but it doesn't check speed or issue tickets. That's why some in the industry are calling this a game changer. There's part of me that says it's for safety's sake. Uh, the other part of it seems a, a bit excessive. Lee Stead asks, what if you're caught speeding while trying to pass someone? A lot of that is taking away from the judgment call of their work. And so automatically, I'm caught for some random reason, whereas a legitimate speeder or lawbreaker really should be paying that price. Now, the American Civil Liberties Union has already raised some uh, privacy concerns on this, but some lawyers argue that if you're driving on a public road, you really have no expectation of any privacy. No doubt this issue is going to come before a court very soon. Matt? So, Eric, did Kissimmee police say they were interested in getting some of these cameras? Well, they did say that they were very proud to be the first police department in the entire nation to test this product, Matt. As for buying it, it's really not available to police departments just yet. Uh, the manufacturer is running it through some test runs first before they release it to the public. We'll see. All right. We'll see how those tests go. Eric and Kissimmee Forest, thank you.